All right, welcome everybody. My name is Tyler Garns. I am founder and CEO at Box Out Marketing. We're really excited to have you all here for our global Infusionsoft user group meeting. Each month we hold this meeting to share more with you about Infusionsoft, about marketing, about business growth. And today's really exciting because we have a guest presenter with us, Justin Lofton. Justin, Justin is founder and CEO of SyncSumo which if you haven't heard of SyncSumo, it's a great add-on to Infusionsoft uh, where you can sync up your audience in Infusionsoft with custom audiences in Facebook for Facebook advertising, targeted Facebook advertising. I'm sure Justin will mention more about this throughout his presentation, but it's amazing stuff. Uh, Justin is um, no newbie to the Infusionsoft world or to internet marketing uh, either. He's been using Infusionsoft since 2007, which is exactly when I started at Infusionsoft uh, in July of 2007. Um, and uh, he's been running for the last five years a fresh agency, which helps uh, businesses who are advertising on Facebook to scale their, their Facebook advertising um, even further. So he's very experienced in, in the world of Infusionsoft and particularly in the world of Facebook advertising and generating leads. Uh, with Facebook, which has really become one of the foundations of online advertising. You know, it's interesting when I started at Infusionsoft and I was managing all of the ad spend there, uh, we didn't do any Facebook advertising. The world has shifted a ton over the last few years. It was all email advertising, some banners, some partner advertising, text links, various different things. And, and now the world has shifted a bunch and Facebook really should be the foundation of just about every uh, businesses online advertising and so Justin's going to share with, uh, with us some great things uh, today. Justin, thank you so much for joining us and I'm going to go ahead and just turn the time over to you. Great, thanks Tyler. I really appreciate you having me today and I'm excited to uh, share with everyone what I've learned after spending way too much money and wasting dollars in Facebook so that I could figure out what really generates leads for folks and so um, as we dive in today I want to you know really just help you lower the intimidation that you might have with Facebook. I know a lot of folks are kind of don't know where to begin or where to start. So let's talk about the short road to success and what we're going to cover today. We're going to talk a little bit about why Facebook. I want to want you to fully understand why you should be considering the platform and if you're already advertising there, why you should continue to spend dollars there. Um, I'm going to really break down the simple success formula that you can use, give you a couple case studies so you understand you know really what's possible within Facebook and um, and then we'll just really dive into the formula it's targeting the right audiences looking at offers that really do convert and ads that convert to and then lastly sort of touching a bit on how you can quickly turn your leads into sales and, and of course we'll cover uh, any of your questions at the end so certainly if you have questions go ahead and type them in the the chat box and um, we'll we'll get them answered for you so let's get started so as I said, my goal is really to help you understand what works in Facebook today. Um, you know, it's really moved quickly. As Tyler said, you know, I've been advertising on Facebook for the last five years and spent a lot of dollars, both of my own and of my clients, trying to figure out what really works in this channel. I mean, it's relatively new to the advertising space, and so it takes a lot of it took a lot of testing to really figure out this basic formula that uh, I've been able to put together and I want to share that with you today so that you can really remove a lot of the intimidation that you might have or sort of questions you know Facebook creates a lot of different check boxes and options for all types of advertisers and as much as they really allow advertisers to do the things that they uh, want based on their objectives for their business it really creates a lot of confusion so I hope to really remove a lot of that confusion and give you a formula that can consistently work for you over time, whether it's um, you know something that you're doing today or something that you know Facebook changes and and you know this formula should work for you over and over again, even as Facebook continues to innovate their platform. So I just want to give you a little bit of background on myself. You know I've been an entrepreneur since age eight. Um, I started selling uh, supplements online and back in 1998 when you had to build your own websites and HTML and, and Overture was the advertising platform before you know uh, Yahoo and Google even existed um, you know after I, I got into that I was doing really well selling online I started to do consulting because I really enjoyed helping others uh, sort of you know grow their businesses so I used Infusionsoft this is back in 2008 
2009 days, I, I used Infusionsoft and I was doing a lot of search engine optimization and so I was able to help a lot of businesses double their revenues in a very short amount of time and really combining that Infusionsoft automation that we love with um, you know both organic SEO and at that time we're running some you know AdWords, Google AdWords stuff and um, you know what I saw, I started an agency because I was helping folks uh, via you know consulting but I really couldn't help more than a couple of businesses at any given time so I started an agency this is in 2011 called fresh agency and the goal is to really to you know do some of the infusion soft work to do advertising to do search engine optimization and then we helped a lot of folks you know I was able to scale up and help you know 30 40 companies um, at any given time and uh, you know we were very successful as we saw Facebook moved towards an advertising model. I mean, at that point, Facebook really wasn't offering any advertising for small businesses. It was generally for the large brands when they were still still trying to figure out their platform. And um, you know, I saw that that was the that was the wave that was coming. And so I quickly started to test Facebook advertising and um, start offering those services for our clients at Fresh Agency. And that's when I quickly realized that generating leads with Facebook would be the future of uh, both advertising and lead generation as we know it. And, um, and, and so that experience has really helped me develop this formula that I'm going to share with you today. So, you know, the other thing that I do is I do run a, a multi-million dollar e-commerce business where we're selling physical products to uh, consumers and we use you know 98 percent of our traffic is coming from Facebook ads for that or Instagram ads and so um, that also is giving me a lot of insight and experience so that this formula that I break down and show for you today you know comes from different angles whether you're in B2B, B2C, uh, lead gen it all works for you so and as Tyler mentioned I'm the fine founder and CEO of SyncSumo and I have managed over six million dollars in ad budget over the last five years so I, I tell you this only because I want to I want you to understand that I'm coming from a position of uh, start you know running spending lots of money wasting lots of money and for the most part in the early days so that I could devise this formula that I'm going to show to you today so that you can put it to use for you and your business and this is another you know screenshot I, I really want you guys to know that you know the stuff I'm telling you is not you know off the cuff from some other training that was done it's really from spending real dollars in Facebook every day so this is a screenshot of this week I just captured this yesterday for the presentation so you understand I mean we're spending just in one of our ad accounts uh, almost six grand a day on Facebook uh, for our one of our businesses so you know I'm spending real dollars and so I want you to know that the information I'm going to share with you is real and it's not uh, coming from a Yahoo that doesn't know what he's talking about so um, so let's you know really it's about after doing this for 18 years I've learned that less is more a lot more and that's really a part of the challenge with the platform if you've even dabbled in you know the Facebook ads manager or even you know touch touched in the uh, the power editor you can see that it just it can get overwhelming quickly if you're not clear about what steps to take to run advertising on Facebook effectively so as I break this down for you, you'll learn that it's really you know it's really about doing less and you get a lot more out of it and at the end of the day human psychology really never changes so if we can apply that to Facebook in a very specific way then we're gonna we're gonna come out of the gate with our advertising efforts in a, in a very successful way and we can build on that success over time and so, you know, when it comes to Facebook, it's really about getting the right ads in front of the right people. And that is the beauty with Facebook is that people generally, when they see your ads, they don't even know who you are, especially if you're running to cold traffic. So these are people that are on the Facebook platform that have never heard of your brand or your product. And so it's giving you an opportunity to reach, you know, upwards of millions of people that have never heard of you, yet you might be able to provide value for them in their life. And you know, I think one of the, the hesitations for some folks to start using Facebook advertising is that they feel like it's going to consume a lot of their time. And it can if you do things and, you, and if you're sort of, you know, trying to run your business and also building landing pages and tracking codes and all these things that that generally come with um, having to build these marketing funnels. And it's the reason that 
you hire someone like Tyler Garns and, and the box out folks to help you is because it can become very uh, intimidating and overwhelming when you're just trying to run your business. But I want to show you today how you can generate profitable leads without needing a lot of time to build it and uh, monitor that. And it really works for any business. You know, in the past, you know, a lot of folks that were in the B two B space where they're selling, you know, business to other businesses, selling to others. You know, a lot of them would. I would hear this a lot when I was, you know, running the agency day out, day in and day out. Oh, you know, I don't think my audience is on Facebook. But I'm going to show you exactly what's going on at Facebook these days and you know the types of results we're getting for both B2B and B2C type businesses. So it does work for any type of business. And the other thing is you don't need a lot of dollars to invest each day in your business to get success. So you can start extremely small and there's no long-term commitments with Facebook. So you can test things and get things going with as little as $20 per day. And, and you know, if you're running any type of business, you you should be able to invest that kind of uh, budget to to see if you can be successful on Facebook as well. So, you know, it's 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 fun. And it's it's actually once you break down this this um, formula, you're going to see that it's really not that difficult, and it can really be fun when you start to see your leads flowing in via Facebook. It gives you a lot of uh, fulfillment that you can do that. So let's talk about briefly before we jump into the formula, why Facebook? Because there's plenty of different channels. You've got Google with SEO and AdWords and YouTube and Pinterest and Twitter and all these other platforms. Um, and so I want to give you some perspective on why you should be considering Facebook if you're not already for uh, your advertising efforts to grow your business. Um, just updated recently, they've already crossed 1.1 billion daily active users. So that's people on the platform actively using it every day. It's 1.1 billion. They have a total of 1.7 billion actual registered users with 1.1 of, of those being on the platform every day. And that can, that continues to grow. You can see this graph. It just It's outrageous how quickly that, that's growing over time. Secondly, they own Instagram. And so Instagram, actually, it's now 500 million active users. So, you know, even since their last quarter, they've grown another 100 million for Instagram. And Instagram is a checkbox now within the Facebook advertising platform. So, you know, the fact that Facebook owns Instagram as well makes it real easy for us as Facebook advertisers to, to start testing our ads that are working within Facebook on Instagram with a check of a box. And the other thing is that, you know, we don't really realize this, but 16 minutes of every waking hour we spend on social media. And you know, you can compare that down to email where we're only spending three minutes per every hour that we're awake compared to social media. And so that's just massive. I think it's crazy looking at that number, but I know it's true because I do it myself. I'm on social media quite a bit. Obviously, I'm in the space. I work in the space, so uh, Facebook specifically is even more important to my business and to my clients and so um, you know I spend probably even more than 16 minutes of every waking hour on Facebook but that's just a big number and that's going to continue to grow as you know people uh, use mobile devices and their smartphones to, to do all types of things in their life and now what we've seen in late 2014 is that mobile is now exceeding desktop in the number of users. So, you know, the actual consumer behavior is changing and that's really important for you because, um, you know, when you become a, a Facebook advertiser and you're, you're running ads on Facebook, you know, the Facebook game really is about being in the, in the mobile feed. So when we talk about this formula that I show you, we're really going to be talking about running ads in the mobile news feed. And you can see here why, because the top smartphone apps of 2015 are partly, largely owned and operated by Facebook, with Facebook having the most unique users, um, Facebook Messenger being, you know, number three there, and then number eight is Instagram. And so you can see that Facebook, when it comes to mobile, is really controlling the eyeballs, and that continues to grow, and you can see they're just drastically larger um, number of unique users 
The second player is all Google properties, largely Google properties, but none of those are properties that really hold their attention. So they're not on the app all day long, and that's the beauty with the Facebook app is that we spend a ton of time on the app uh, engaging with it. And so really it's the first time in history where advertisers and marketers can build a relationship with their brands, with real people, in the same place that they build relationships with their friends and their families and their colleagues. So the, the, the human behavior has changed to the point where they're very, you know, consumers are very comfortable with seeing advertisements that are relevant to their life and they are building relationships directly with brands and products because of Facebook and because of that um, you know it's been five plus years now that Facebook has allowed advertising in the platform and because of that people are very comfortable seeing ads that are relevant to their life in the same place that they build relationships and nurture their own relation, personal relationships with friends and families and colleagues and that's just huge you know because every other type of advertising has been very disruptive whether you're getting junk mail whether you're getting uh, you know seeing banner ads or you're hearing commercials on TV or radio now you're you're you know in the same news feed and being able to build a brand and build a relationship with the consumers that potentially could leverage your products and services it's huge so let's talk about the success formula and I really made it simple so that we can break it down and you can understand how to apply this when it comes to Facebook advertising. And some of this could apply to other you know, things that you've done with Infusionsoft and thought of thinking about how you can attract new leads and, and prospects into your business. So it's really about matching the right audience to the right offer to the right ad. And the beauty with Facebook is we can do that at a very large scale. So as I said, you know, in the case of if you're familiar with Google, you know, people have to type in a search term into Google and see a, a certain number of results and click on one of those results. And you're limited by the number of searches per month for those keywords that are relevant to your business. Whereas in Facebook, it's really the, the complete opposite. Um, there's millions upon millions, as you saw, there's 1.1 billion active daily users on Facebook. And so we can reach people that look just like your customers. I'm going to show you exactly how to do that. So now you can put your your offerings, your lead magnets, your you know your value to the marketplace in front of millions of people any given time. And it's more about of a it's more about timing. The issue is timing. Is is the pain in their life you know large enough for them to take action to solve that problem that they have? Uh, and, and the uh, the problem that you can solve for them and so instead of waiting for people in Google to search the keywords uh, per month um, that you might show up and might get a click on now you can actually put your ad in front of the people that could use your product they just didn't know you existed they didn't know that you had a solution for them and that's really been the reason why Facebook has grown and their advertising platform has grown so quickly is because of uh, the ability to target the right audience at scale. And so I want to give you some case studies just so that you have some understanding of what does all this stuff you know, really lead to? What's the real world results? And in the case studies I'm going to show you, I'm not even going to show you any digital marketers because some of those numbers can look ridiculous. You know, 40, 40 cent leads, $2 webinar registrations. You know, if you're a digital marketer and you're going after large uh, scale markets, you can do you know some serious damage and I, I'm gonna give you some real-world case studies so that you can see how this stuff applies even if you're not a digital marketer and, and if you are then even better things just get better so let me walk you through uh, a simple one for one of our e-commerce uh, stores that we run this is B2C so we sell physical products to consumers and we we're currently testing a, a contest so we give away products uh, that we typically sell as a part of a, a monthly contest and so you know we sell products there between forty and a hundred dollars um, we spent forty three dollars on ads on Facebook we were able to generate forty six leads at ninety three cents each we nurtured those leads with email and we were able to sell four hundred and twenty eight dollars in product in the first thirty days 
and really the whole positioning was or the offer was you know hey we're giving away three hundred dollars worth of our product and as they nurtured on if they didn't win we simply offered them a deal on the same product that we were going to give away so if they didn't win the contest that month we offered them a deal on the stuff that that we were offering as the giveaway so the the, the beauty was that we were attracting people that were interested in the product because they wanted to win it and when they didn't win we simply offered them a deal to get that same product at a discount because they didn't win the contest that month and so you can see here that um, you know even with something like a simple contest where you're running to direct to consumers this can work very effectively for you so let's talk a little bit about business to consumer with high ticket sales so things that are products that are very expensive so in this case uh, the the, re, the realtor sells homes in Michigan uh, they spent uh, 359 dollars on ads they were able to generate 40 leads at almost nine dollars each in this case they were asking for the phone number in the the lead capture they called each lead they were essentially collecting leads for an open house um, for folks that are interested in the property they held the open house and they sold the, the house with one one showing so um, I've got a little screenshot here it might be a little difficult a little little a uh, little difficult to read but um, they ran two different ads one that collected 16 leads at $11.36 and the other one collected 24 leads at $7.40 and what I'm going to show you is exactly how they did that um, as we break down the formula so this can work for low ticket stuff high ticket stuff if you sell to other businesses in this case this is an example that for sync sumo where we ran a particular campaign we spent uh, seventeen hundred hundred dollars on ads generated almost a thousand leads at two dollars each we nurtured each of those leads with email and 87 of those leads took our free trial and 43 became paying customers in that time frame and so basically for the cost of the first month of our service we were able to acquire 43 new customers um, so that you know we have in the second month we're already profitable on that new customer and then we have the rest of those 800 plus leads to continue to nurture and, and teach them how to use Facebook so that they can use our platform as well and even you know even more so when it comes to B2B and high ticket and I think this is definitely an area where we've over the years have gotten pushback well I don't know that you know I sell high ticket stuff to other businesses I don't know that they're on Facebook so this is an example of mr. I, I said mr. X because he just didn't want me to disclose his company name or his name because he wants to protect his market so I'm doing that here for him but I wanted to help you understand how you know this type of stuff can work in Facebook even if you're selling products that are you know more than a hundred thousand uh, dollars they sell fabrication equipment which is very expensive to other businesses they spent hundred seventy five dollars on ads they generated 44 leads again they were asking for phone numbers as well as name and email and they called each lead they set up three demos in the first hour of collecting those leads and they sold a, a piece of equipment that cost a quarter of a million dollars and so you know I wanted to just give you some examples of what's possible with Facebook because everyone to some degree or another is on Facebook and so there are markets there for every type of business and every type of offer so let's start to dive into the success formula and I want to show you how to target the right audiences within Facebook first let's talk about you know something that you may be familiar with simply because you're using Infusionsoft you've built various segments and lists you know even if you're just sending broadcasts out of Infusionsoft this is really going to play into helping you understand how to target audiences on Facebook so we can take a lot of the knowledge and uh, concepts that you learned as you were putting together Infusionsoft and apply that here directly with targeting on Facebook and it's really about you know leveraging custom audiences in Facebook and what that does is you know it's a, it's a technology that Facebook launched in late 2013 where you can upload your email database as well as your phone number database to Facebook and what they're gonna try and do is match 
those email addresses or phone numbers to an actual Facebook user ID based on the information that's in the profile on Facebook. And um, which is huge because now the ability to sort of find people that you already have a relationship with that are already in your database, which you've already likely spent money to a, acquire, you've likely spent time and energy writing emails to them and nurturing them over time. And we all know that, you know, whether it's Infusionsoft or any other email platform, you're lucky to get 30% open rates on email these days. So the ability to be able to take those lists that you already have and maybe you spent you know years upon years building those to be able to, to get those into Facebook so that you can run ads to the people in your database, people that you already have a relationship with, <clears throat> it's just phenomenal. And so that's how it works. They, they have, they've allowed uh, marketers and advertisers to import basically upload CSV files of emails and phone numbers of their customers and prospects so that they can advertise to those folks on Facebook and that's how Facebook custom audiences work. Now the challenge is that most marketers are not using custom audiences even though that sounds amazing right if I could target my customers and target my prospects directly in Facebook why would they not be using it and unfortunately you know, Facebook doesn't have the support mechanism or don't, they don't want to support, um, you know, any kind of automation there. They want to lean on the partner community like SyncSumo to solve that. And, and so the process that you could use is a manual process with Facebook. So you have to manually export all of your different list segments out of Infusionsoft and manually import those CSV files back into Facebook. And that's really why most marketers are not using custom audiences just yet so um, you know and really what happens is when you have various list segments and as you know you know using automation is that within minutes the data is really no good anymore because you may have prospects that move through your sales funnel and are now customers yet in Facebook you're still showing them ads as if they were prospects and so there was there's no automation in place to sort of keep those lists updated and, but the power of being able to retarget your email segments based on where they are in the sales funnel is just massive. And that's really where, uh, you know, a, a piece of what SyncSumo does and really why I created SyncSumo in September of last year was to solve this problem, was to automate the custom audience syncing from various list segments within your database. And so SyncSumo can automate this entire process. So we're syncing those different list segments based on save searches in Infusionsoft so that you can always know that the ads that you're showing to prospects or customers or other types of segments within your database are always, you know, money's being well spent on those ads because it's showing them ads uh, based on where they are in your sales funnel. So we showed, we solved that problem um, in September of last year and we've continued to innovate on top of that particular uh, challenge that Facebook had, you know, provided this great service and then ultimately let the whole industry down by saying, well, you have to do it manually. So let me quickly sort of, sort of show you how to set this up because even though I'm talking about the contacts that you already have a relationship with, and because this, this, uh, today's presentation is about lead generation, but setting up these particular audiences, um, inside of Facebook will set the stage for us to, uh, do lead generation on Facebook and you'll understand how that works in just a bit. But first I want to show you the three most important audiences that you should sync with Facebook through SyncSumo. So first is just your all contacts list. So think in terms of if you're sending broadcast emails, you have a new blog post, a new launch that you're kind of, you know, the things that you would uh, send out via email to all of your contacts in Infusionsoft you know, you want a list in Facebook that you can match that with because you can make any of those email broadcasts work a lot better if you align an ad with that list in Facebook. So if you're running an ad for 48 to 72 hours at the same time that you send the broadcast, that's going to work so much better because, you know, you have 30% of the people are, you know, it's only 30% of the people on your list are really going to op open the emails, but maybe 60% of them are seeing the same messaging on Facebook. So that's something to consider with your all contacts list. The second is break it up. So all of your prospects, people that haven't yet 
uh, spent any money with you, maybe they've downloaded free stuff from you, you're trying to you know, really segment them so that you can take them from prospect to customer. And those guys can be great for you know, running seminars and webinars, giving them some new report or guide so you can segment them further. And lastly, of course, our customers, right? Um, segmenting that list and syncing that with SyncSumo so that we know exactly who the people are that have spent money with us. And obviously, we can run you know, thank you ads, client appreciation offers, flash sales, and things like that. But we want to get these audiences in Facebook so that we can take your lead generation to the next step, and I'll show you how. So I'm just going to show you quickly a couple screenshots just so you can see how easy it is to use SingSumo when doing this. Because I know even you know sort of technology in general can be intimidating, and so I want to make sure that you understand how easy it is to do this within SingSumo. So essentially, you just name the audience. You choose a, uh, a an Infusionsoft save search from the list of drop downs of things you want to um, select the audience source from. So it's going to be an Infusionsoft save search for you guys. And then we're going to choose the save search. So if you don't already have a save search for all prospects, all contacts, and all customers, you just go and make those. And then you can grab those here and choose the, in this case, I'm, I'm showing it all contacts. So I'm just doing the quick all contact save search and we're going to sync that list every hour with Facebook. So now you can see here in the screenshot where I've got all my Infusionsoft contacts and it actually shows it was created by SyncSumo. And you can see below there I've also got SyncSumo users which is um, you know folks that are actually using the SyncSumo platform. So I can target those and really this sets the stage for what I want to show you next. Lookalike audiences. So you might have heard about this or you might have some understanding of how this technology works, but this is really the game changer when it comes to Facebook. So to get a better understanding of what's happening is that Facebook is tracking 2,000 plus data points on every one of us. Our behaviors, who we are, what do we do, our activities, you name it, they are tracking it. And so you know, there's a lot of data that isn't available to us as marketers and advertisers using the platform that Facebook knows about. And so what the lookalike audience technology does, it allows you to take a source list that you have and allows Facebook to go find millions of other people that look just like the source data that you give it. And so that sets the stage for Facebook doing a lot of the work for you when it comes to finding people that really need your products and services. And so really what we want to do, if possible, if you've got 100 or more people on your buyers list, your customer list, we want to make a lookalike audience of them so that Facebook can find millions of other people that look just like your customers. And that is really the game changer when it comes to targeting the right audiences with your offers. And so in Facebook, you just go under uh, create audience, create lookalike audience. I'm just going to show a couple screenshots here just to give you some insight, if you haven't done this before, what it looks like. And it's not difficult at all. Simply collect, uh, select lookalike audience, and you're going to choose the source data. So remember, we just created all Infusionsoft contacts and we created SyncSumo users. And so in this case, I'm selecting SyncSumo app users as the source of the data. I'm choosing the country, in this case it's United States, and you can do this in any country, but you do have to choose the country. And then you'll see below that I've got, it goes default actually to 1%. So 1% of the country that looks just like the folks that are using SyncSumo. And now the estimated reach is over 2 million people. So the 1% lookalike audience is absolute gold. Whether you're a beginner, intermediate, or advanced advertiser on Facebook, the 1% lookalike audience is unbelievably powerful for your business. And so I don't want you to take that lightly. lightly. So really, if you have 100 or more customers in your email database that can convert to uh, a Facebook user ID. So you likely need 150 to 200 customers in your email database. 
then you can create a look-alike audience of your customers. Now, if you don't have yet have 100 or call it 200 customers in your email database, simply use the entire list. So those, pe those people, sort of the all contacts list, use that as the source of the data so that you have enough folks in there, you know, their prospects and people that have interested in your products in the past. The more data you can give Facebook, the better. So, you know, essentially the more more than a hundred folks that you have in your database, if you have more than a hundred buyers, use your buyers list. If you have, if you don't have an, uh, more than a hundred buyers yet, use your entire email database to be the source of the 1% lookalike audience. And simply create audience. And so now Facebook has given you this audience that, of people using the platform that look exactly like your customers. And that is really the key to Facebook advertising when it comes to targeting the right folks is leveraging the fact that Facebook knows so much about each one of us and allowing them to go find people that look just like our buyers. So let's talk about offers that convert. And again, if you've got questions, we'll, we're going to answer them. We'll give you plenty of time at the end to, uh, to answer any questions that you have. I just want to move through the content because it's a lot to take in, uh, especially if you haven't, um, if you're not familiar with the Facebook advertising platform. So I definitely will answer all your questions, but I want to move through the content so that you can get uh, as much out of this today as possible. So offers that convert. I kind of gave, I wanted to give you kind of the big picture here. There's a lot of um, different things that do work on Facebook, so I don't want you to think that um, you know what I covered today more specifically is the only approach to take. As we talked about in the case studies, you know there's contests, there's direct uh, dem demonstration type uh, ads, there's open house, vis you know visiting an open house. There's all types of different offers that can work based on the type of business that you have, and this is really the the big list of things that do work in Facebook still today and what's great about the process I'm going to show you is that many of these you know whether it be cheat sheets or cheat sheets or hacks or checklists or templates or resource guides or how to list and uh, special reports I'm going to show you a process that basically covers many of the, the items on this list and the other ones can be sort of uh, self-explanatory um, beyond what I'm going to cover today so what really works today? At the end of the day, whatever type of uh, offer that you put together it needs to be short and concise. So if you're going to make reports or you're going to make something of value that's you know in a PDF form, it really has to be short. No one's reading 30-page e-books anymore. Um, the, the shorter you can make it, that's still high value for them, the better. Because our attention spans these days are super short um, and we're highly distracted. And again, because we're using our mobile devices to do a lot of what we do on Facebook and seeing these advertisements, and you know any type of uh, things that we're doing in our life are, are likely being done on a mobile device these days. And because of that, uh, we're heavily distracted, right? We might be doing it while we're driving. We might be doing it while we're pumping gas. We might be doing it while we're at the grocery store standing in line. We might be uh, sitting on a bench somewhere. So life, there's a lot going on around us, and we get distracted. And so you want things to be short and concise so that people can actually consume it. And so, you know, as much as it might be difficult to, to make something high value that's short and sweet, um, you really have to do that because, unfortunately, we just did, you know, you could put together something that's very long um, and high value, but people won't consume it. They just don't have the attention spans any longer to do that. So you want to make any of your reports or cheat sheets or guides, you want to make it short and sweet. You know, bullet points, uh, short copy, and you know, using imagery and 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 be very specific. So you know, within your market, uh, I'm going to show you some examples of how to do that. You need to be very specific so that you get a better response on the offer, especially within Facebook, and make it actionable, right? So make it something that people can really apply their life to get value from what they're what you're offering. And then lastly, as we as I've mentioned, just make it easy to consume. You know, can I just scan it with my eye and you know, find information that's more relevant to me quickly, and then I can go read the other stuff after I've read those items. So making it easy to consume versus having, you know, large sheets of text and paragraphs to read 
you know, break it up, use subheadlines, use bullet points, things like that. That's really what's working today. And so let me, you know, just discuss briefly, especially when it comes to Facebook ads, about offer congruency. So you'll see here that the, the business is all about pain management for back pain and things like that, largely back and shoulder pain. And you'll see that the offer here is seven simple ways to ease back pain at work. And so as I mentioned previously, it's, you know, be very specific. So in this case, it's not only just easing back pain, which is a very broad topic, but it's easing back pain at work. So you'll get people and most people that are on Facebook are likely doing it from their chair at work. You can really get a better response um, from being very specific. But you'll see that this offer is very congruent with the business itself. And in many cases, I've seen advertisers and business owners putting together offers that really had no direct relationship, even though they, they were valuable, easy to consume, and specific, they may have been sort of, they weren't in a direct alignment with the services or products that they offered. And so you want to make sure that any value that, that you're adding will lead them to understanding why you bring value with your products and services. So this this particular offer to the business itself is very congruent. It's talking about back pain and it's helping them understand how to ease back pain at work, which could lead to services and, and solutions to you know permanently uh, resolve their back pain problems. This, on the other hand, is not congruent. You know, giving away things that just have no relevancy the, to the business will in large part just help you grow an email list of freeloaders. And so, you know, if you're going to give away free stuff, then give away free services that you offer or give away, uh, uh, you know, credits towards your services. But make sure that whatever you're offering is congruent with the products and services that you sell. Um, so, you know, don't build an email list uh, for the sake of building an email list. You want to do that with, um, you know, offers that are directly related to what you sell. And so you want to make sure that there's definitely offer congruency. Now the way to create some of these reports and things and to do it very easily and it's free is to use canva.com which is a tool that's been around for some time now and is really you know the world is using Canva to do all the types of design work but it's super simple to make stuff that looks really professional and you don't need to be some sort of designer. I mean even even myself I'm more of a tech head uh, than I am a designer by by any means and so Canva even allows me to sort of create stuff that looks very professional yet doesn't take very long to create and I can get it live quickly because you don't really want to take weeks upon weeks to create these types of reports you want to be able to crank this stuff out fairly quickly so that you can bring value to the market faster and you know you don't want to hold up the ability to test your offer in the market um, and, and, and you know time is money right so if we're spending weeks trying to build a little report simply so we can test it um, you know that could be very costly long term so you can see here in Canva how I just piece by piece made a title and put an image on there and put a little border on the cover of the report um, you know did a little intro telling me telling the, the, the consumer who I was and why I wrote the report and then lastly sort of finishing with a, a call to action on the next step. So they downloaded your free report or your, your cheat sheet and you want to tell them exactly what to do next now that they've consumed all this great high value content that you gave them in the short report. And so all of this can be done from start to finish in Canva. It's really, really simple. And you can simply download it as a high quality PDF and you end up with this great looking report that you know, two years ago would have taken you weeks to build, you can build it, if you've got the content ready, you can build it within 30 minutes to an hour tops so that you can take this offer that is very highly effective in Facebook and get it live and start bringing it to the market to, to add value. So really the right offer is about high value content that's super easy to consume and you know, you can do that with reports, various types of reports, it might be cheat sheets, resource guides, hack, you know, one simple hack, and, and you can take that same approach to webinars as well. We're going to touch on that in a little bit. But really the right offer is about, in most cases, it's about delivering high value, easy to consume content. 
So let's talk about ads that convert. So here are a couple of ads, and these are, again, as I mentioned earlier, uh, these are mobile news feed ads. These are, these are ads that are formatted for the mobile phone. And I'm showing you, I'm just going to stay on the pain, back pain topic so that we can stay consistent when we talk about the ads as we, as we did the offer. But I wanted to show you sort of two versions. Nothing is different between these two ads except for the imagery. But I wanted to show you both of those. And within what you see here is an actual formula going on. I'm going to break that down for you. But I wanted to show you what effective ads look like. And um, let's let's sort of break that down so you can see what the sort of formula within this ad that works, what's going on, on here so that you can use this within your own ads. And it's really about AIDA. And if you haven't heard of AIDA, it really just stands for Attention, Interest, Desire, and Action. It was made popular uh, many years ago when the movie Glenn Gary, Glenn Ross came out, which is a phenomenal movie about sales which has a lot of uh, big actors that weren't big at the time but eventually became very big. So it's a great movie. If you haven't seen Glenn Gary, Glenn Ross, check it out. But really it's, that's the same formula that's working here, and that's the whole human psychology really doesn't change over time. And so what's happening here is I'm using, I'm calling out the audience. I'm saying back pain sufferers. That gets their attention. I'm asking them a question. Are you tired of dealing with countless hours of back pain at work? So I'm getting their interest. I'm building desire by giving them what I have for them, the offer. Here's the seven simple ways to ease back pain at work. And I'm telling them what to do, the call to action. Download your free report. And I'm reinforcing that, that copy that I wrote at the top with a very relevant image. So if I have back pain at work, this image is going to stop me when I'm scrolling around in the Facebook news feed because it's relevant to my life. The business name, Back Pain Specialist. I'm using a red uh, image for my little representation of my business as pain relief. I'm getting their attention as they're scrolling through. And I'm reinforcing AIDA at the bottom part of the ad. Ease back pain at work. Seven simple ways to relieve back pain. Click here to, for a free report. So that is really the formula for success in Facebook. Yes, there's people that are doing things differently and writing, you know, huge amounts of copy in the ad after you click on see more. But really at the core of it, throughout all, all those different ways that they're doing, the success comes from leveraging human psychology. And so if you can call out the market, you can, you know, generate their interest with a question, you can tell them exactly what you have for them and tell them what to do, what the next step is then you're going to have a lot of success in the Facebook platform. So now that we really know what ads look like that are successful in Facebook, I just want to talk about sort of the objectives um, that I would prefer that you start considering if you haven't already, and it's called lead ads. It's something that launched in late 2015 and it's a it's a an objective this this screenshot is a, a list of all the various objectives that um, that Facebook gives different types of advertisers so that they can accomplish their business goals with the Facebook platform and a lot of people um, you know run ads that are for promoting their page or sending people to their website or increasing conversions to their website and and those can work well also, but I want to show you how lead ads work because they're really just a lot less hassle to set up and quickly test, and they can be extremely powerful, and I'm going to show you why. So we want to use the lead generation objective in Facebook, and it's also known as lead ads. So if you've heard any conversation about lead ads, it's really just referring to the lead generation objective available in Facebook. And here's why lead ads kick ass. Basically, it allows you to focus on creating great offers. You know, there's no landing pages or thank you pages needed, so you can spend a lot of your energy and time creating better offers to test and get it out to the market. The tracking's done by Facebook, so instead of having to worry about putting tracking codes all over different pages um, before you can get it live, Facebook is already going to track your lead generation efforts. And here's the big one. This is, you know, the reason that Facebook launched lead ads is that they saw 
that the consumer behavior was going mobile. And what was happening is that advertisers were spending money on the mobile news feed ads and driving people to a landing page to fill out a form. And advertisers weren't seeing conversion rates all that strong. And so Facebook said, well, I don't know why we're sending them off to a landing page to fill out the form. We already know their name and email address and a lot more about them. So why doesn't Facebook just host the form in Facebook so they never leave the platform and we'll pre-fill the form with the information we already have about that person that's, uh, that's clicking on the ad. So here now Facebook with lead ads is hosting the web form for you and they're actually pre-filling it for the user. So now it's so simple for the user to opt into something that they have an interest in. And that is just huge. It's absolutely, it just changed the industry completely and a lot of other players that have ad platforms really have been running around in circles since late 2015 trying to compete with what Facebook is doing with lead ads. And you know, in many cases what we found, especially with high ticket stuff, is that you can cut your lead generation costs in half with lead ads. And it's simply because it makes it easier for the users to give their information to you as an advertiser. So here's what it looks like and how it works. So they see an ad in Facebook, they click subscribe, learn more, download, whatever um, button that you choose to use on your particular ad based on the offer that you have. And that they're going to see a form that's pre-filled and um, with their name, email, or any other fields that you choose when you're building the form in Facebook and they just simply hit submit and they're going to see a little thank you page I guess is what you would call it and they have an opportunity to visit your website at the bottom there most people do not they'll go back to the Facebook advertise or they'll go back to the Facebook news feed and continue scrolling around and engaging with stuff but they do give you an opportunity to leave a link and that that link could take you directly to what you're offering in the ad or it could just take you to you know your home page and so that's really the beauty with lead ads is just being able to have a form hosted by Facebook that's pre-filled with the user's information. Unfortunately, you know, like we saw with custom audiences, that Facebook is just going to shove those leads into your Facebook page for you to download sometime in the future. And as we know, especially as, as Infusionsoft users, you know, that's just unheard of. We can't do that. We need we need those leads to be pushed into our marketing systems in real time. And that's exactly another way that Syncsumo is uh, helping business owners by leveraging lead ads. And in real time, we're, we're pulling those leads out of Facebook and pushing them into the marketing systems you use most. So whether it's Infusionsoft or other email autoresponders or CRMs, and we're also uh, pushing leads directly into webinar platforms such as GoToWebinar and Webinar Jam and EverWebinar and you know we continue to add platforms over time with Syncsumo. So let me show you really what that looks like. So now we have this successful ad that we use in Facebook. They click download. They see this form with the information already filled out. They don't ever have to you know enter their email and that was a challenge when sending traffic off to a landing page is that, you know, we're driving, we're in the, the grocery store, we're pumping gas and we're trying, we're fat fingering our name and email addresses, or we just don't do it at all because we get distracted. And in this case, it just makes it so much easier for the user on Facebook to click download and cl click submit and they're done. And you as the advertiser have that lead data that you can now nurture with email or follow up with, um, you know, phone calls or even, you know, get them directly into your webinar platforms for that. And so let me just touch briefly on sort of taking the concepts that I've showed you already with your content and your ads and simply applying it to webinars. So if you're already doing webinars if you or you've considered doing webinars, you know, the beauty of webinars is that you accelerate that relationship building process. So instead of simply relying on email nurture over time, you know, if you can get someone on a webinar just like this, you can really build a relationship with them faster and you can help them understand the value that you can bring to their life in, a, in a, an accelerated way. And that's the beauty with webinars in general is that I can reach a lot of folks and help them understand what type of value I have to bring to the market as opposed to 
hoping that you uh, jump on the email list and over time helping you understand the value that I have for you. And you know, at the end, you can also record it and potentially put those webinars on autopilot so that they're running and people can, you know, maybe even across the world can be on your webinars and consuming the value that you have even while you're sleeping. And so that's not really much different from what we saw before. I simply modified the copy in the ad to be more specific to a webinar, but it's the same process. And SyncSumo makes it super easy for folks to generate webinar registrations at a much cheaper cost than they would driving them to a landing page to fill out a form. And we're going to push those those webinar registrations directly into GoToWebinar, et cetera, as well as Infusionsoft for you. And really for the user, it's that simple for them to click sign up and submit to get on a webinar. And so really it's about using that AIDA formula with lead ads and SyncSumo that's going to make it easy for you to set up offers on Facebook and start testing stuff that can work for your business as opposed to spending you know, weeks upon weeks, and we did this in the early days of running Fresh Agency, we were building out, you know, email campaigns and uh, landing pages and lead pages and making sure tracking codes were all over the place. We'd be three weeks in before we get one funnel live and tested, and in some cases those funnels didn't work and they had to be massaged and they had to be changed um, so that they would work. And in this case, you can use this formula that I've tested many times over um, to start generating leads right away for your business and then you know certainly you can test that against a more traditional funnel uh, once you see that those offers are working and that you're generating leads. So let me just quickly touch on because we're almost to the Q&A session and I wanted to just touch quickly on a, another technology that we have that might help you especially if you're doing high ticket stuff and this might really help you turn leads into sales a lot quicker. So, you know, if you're generating, uh, if you're, most of your sales are high value and high ticket, and maybe you're even um, collecting phone numbers or you're, you're trying to get folks to come to events, you may want to consider our smart leads technology. And really what happens is as folks come into lead ads, we take their email address and we, we tap into other APIs to get their demographic data and their other uh, social accounts. So think in terms of if you have sales teams or um, uh, any type of high value sale and you can really understand who your prospects are in detail by sort of seeing everything about them when it comes to both their demographic information and you know the, the types of businesses they're involved with, who they are as a person, their families, you know, really closing that gap before you make that call or before you send that email to that prospect and being able to see who that person is in detail besides them just being another name, phone number, and email address. Um, smart leads can really take your uh, sales process and shorten those sales cycles for anybody that's doing high ticket stuff or even any kind of high value um, selling. So this is, this is just a single lead and we've captured, in this case, we're using Trend as the example. Many of you guys might know the Chapman brothers. They're, they're partners with myself, with SyncSumo. They built the platform. Um, I'm just the dumb sales guy. And so this is a, 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 an example of smart leads inside of SyncSumo for one of the leads. And in this case, Trent is the lead and showing all of his different social accounts, all of his different websites, his title and who he is, and specific detail directly within SyncSumo so that before you make that call or before you reach out to that prospect, you already know them intimately. And really this is use cases for smart leads is like I mentioned, high ticket sales, and this is both on the digital and physical product side. If you have sales teams, this is beautiful for sales teams, really helping them close more business, local businesses that offer services and even products, um, event managers, um, if you want to find influencers. so. You know, if, if you find somebody like Trent who has a lot of connections and a lot of followers on Twitter or Facebook, um, that's a great way to, to find them is, is using the smart leads technology. Real estate sales, so agents and brokers, especially on the, on the residential side, and car dealerships, so selling automotive uh, vehicles in local areas, phenomenal for uh, using smart leads for that. 
So I want to recap here so we can get to questions and answers. I know that you guys probably have plenty of them for me. But it's really this simple formula. The right audience, which is a 1% lookalike audience of your buyers or your customers, combined with the right offer, and it's really about high value and easy to consume content, real short stuff that provides a lot of value for folks with the right ads. It's using that AIDA formula with lead ads that you can set up very, very quickly within Facebook and leveraging SyncSumo to pull those leads out of Facebook and getting them into the marketing systems you use most. And that really is the simple success formula that you need to uh, apply when you're starting to leverage Facebook to, to grow your business. And so um, I want to do Q&A with you and answer any questions you have. I, I have plenty of time as long as Tyler does. I did, you know, just hit me at the time that I was putting the, the presentation for you guys. I actually just finished putting together the Fast Boot Camp because one of the things I was just telling Tyler before we started was that a lot of folks, they just, they want to use the tool set and they just, they're just super intimidated by the platform. And so, you know, a lot of the stuff that we cover today is going to be covered in a lot more detail in the Fast Boot Camp, which I just put finished putting together, and we continue to add new content to it all the time. It's basically a seven-day step-by-step training course. It's a boot camp. It's, you know, I want you to understand this formula that I've taught you in much, much more detail and be able to really launch successful campaigns within a week. And it's designed for beginners, so there's not a, a bunch of uh, over the shoulder type screenshots where I'm moving the mouse around real quickly. It's very step by step so that you can understand you know, how do you get the pixel in place, how do you start to put these campaigns in place in detail. And, um, and we just launched it literally two days ago. We haven't even started promoting it. So the timing on this with the presentation was great. So check that out and take advantage of the, of the boot camp if that's something that is of interest to you. But at this stage, I really want to answer any questions you might have and clarify anything that I might have covered today or anything you might have about your Facebook ads and may, how they're working and um, would love to do that at this stage. All right. Well, thanks, Justin. I uh, really appreciate you being on today. And uh, I would definitely encourage uh, anyone uh, who's looking into doing Facebook advertising, if you're already doing it and you know wanting to get better at it, uh, sign up for this fast boot camp. Um, you know, like Justin said, uh, it, it's just something that they've finished. Um, haven't even started promoting it yet. You guys get in at the early bird price of 190 bucks. It's normally 500, right, Justin? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that's really just for you guys right now during this pre-launch period. Uh, if you're if you're interested, I would jump on it right now because if you wait, it's going to be 500 bucks. Um, and this is going to be got, great, great content. Yeah, and the, you know the the really the. the as I was telling Tyler earlier, this is worth $3,000, but the reality is I wanted to bring something to the marketplace that really helped folks understand how to do this. And, you know, it's that same formula in very much detail and how do you scale it up after you get it going. Um, and, you know, I didn't want to bring a product to market like that. I prefer to help a lot of people because our product helps people across the globe. We have customers for SyncSumo across the globe, which I love. I love bringing value to folks all over the place so the price point is not reflective in its value I brought the price point down just because I want folks to take advantage of it and you know leverage all this the the challenges and failures I've had in Facebook along with the successes uh, and start applying it to your business because I know folks will use our platform more effectively if they understand how to use Facebook as a whole yeah absolutely so, uh, so here's the first question uh, actually from Jamie who I know you've worked with I, he says Tyler, I'd like to suggest a follow-up session with Justin where we watch him work with one of his customers to set up SyncSumo with Infusionsoft and create a live Facebook campaign or two. I've already done this with Justin, but selfishly, I'd like to see it done a few times to really get my head around it. Um, blah, blah, blah. You can offer that Justin will choose one person who signs up to use an example. You get the idea. You get the idea. Plus, there could be follow-up yeah. sessions to see how it works. But I'm guessing that you're actually doing that kind of thing in this fast boot camp. Um, yeah. Would that, would that cover what, Justin, what Jamie's asking for here? Yeah, I believe so. And if it doesn't, I would want to know what areas in the back, in the boot camp that I'm not covering that, so that I can fill those gaps with new content. All right, cool. Uh, another question. Uh, I think that many Infusionsoft slash SyncSumo users need some ongoing coaching to to really make it pay. Perhaps a 12 week small group max 10 coaching program of weekly sessions. Uh, do you offer anything like that, Justin? Or w again, would you just suggest the fast boot camp covers that? 
Yeah, so you know, sort of that's the next step is that we'll launch the Facebook Ad Success Coaching Program, which is exactly that. It's actually an annual program where we'll do you know biweekly calls as a group. Um, we'll have a, a private membership area so that you guys can ask questions directly to other folks that are in that coaching program. Because I have um, you know, it's basically you want to to do it yourself and, and do the boot camp stuff, and you need some hand holding, and that's where coaching can really help folks. And then you know, obviously with Fresh Agency, we it's a done for you service um, for sort of bigger, high high uh, high scaling stuff. But yeah, that's what's coming next. So stay tuned. Um, and certainly, if you're already a, a Fast Boot Camp member, you're gonna hear about that um, as we launch it in the next ha handful of weeks. But we do have a Facebook Ad Success Coaching Program coming soon. Excellent. Uh, and next that's question. Very reasonably priced, so. Awesome. So next question from Paul: uh, Is it possible to target lookalike Facebook users for a certain region of a country, not the whole country? No, it isn't. So at, at this stage, and uh, I'm not sure, you know, that'd be, I, I like what you're talking about because for local businesses, um, that can really apply. But remember, if you are a local business and you make a lookalike audience in the United States, majority of the people or a large percentage as it relates to your town will be in there simply because they look like the people that are in your customer list. So don't be afraid to use a lookalike audience and then overlay that with your your city plus however many miles and i would recommend for local businesses that they go you know 10 even 25 miles out from where they typically sell their products to give facebook a larger audience to work with and you'd be surprised how many people will go beyond the sort of circle of um, area that you typically sell in to come and get your products and services Great. Uh, so we've got a few people asking um, about signing up for SyncSumo directly. Uh, they're interested in the Fast Boot Camp, but they just want to go get SyncSumo. Um, I think we set up a, a promo code for that, didn't we? Is it Box20? Is that right? Yeah. Yeah, let me um, let me double check the code for you. Um, but yeah, just go to SyncSumo.com and get the invitation. And in about 24 hours, you'll you'll get a, a link to go sign up for SyncSumo, so you can see the different plans that we have. So just go to SyncSumo.com and opt into the to the uh, invitation box, and we'll get that to you. And then uh, I'll make sure that Tyler can follow up with an email with the promo code to use to get 20% off for life when you do that. So we've got yeah, a little pretty, window. Pretty sure it's Box20. So if you just use the promo code Box20, uh, yeah, yeah keep Box out 20. Yeah. Okay, cool. Um, all right, let's see here. Any examples of how this has worked for a professional services firm like accounting, legal, and financial services? I think you kind of covered that. Anything else you want to follow up with there? Yeah, I mean, I think just think in terms of, you know, offering an, uh, you know, sort of an overview. Like, so, you know, in those cases, they're very, the, the lifetime value of those types of clients is very high. Um, so what you would want to do is like do an account, a free account reviews, and you're asking for the name, uh, email, phone number, so you can set up an appointment. So use that name, email, phone number approach so that your secretary can call those folks back, and the offer, you know, generally can be a a free assessment of their, uh, you know, tax situation. Um, so any type of service, or you know, if you're a plumber, those those types of local services are great for you know doing free appointments or free assessments or free consultations or uh, free services that get you you know get your people in front of them so that you can sell face to face. Cool. So Daniel is asking uh, what you would say about comparing SyncSumo to other plugins like Plus This. Um, well, to my knowledge, Plus This, at least on the audience syncing side, they don't um, sync the entire list all the time. They're they're doing um, HTTP posts within a campaign. So if your folks, you have this big list of people that you've built over years, and they're not any in any given campaign at the time, you can't um, sync those lists every hour to Facebook. So they're not doing that. They're just triggering a Facebook ad with um, when they're inside of a campaign. And many folks are using Fusionsoft, they don't have enough people in those campaigns at any given time. Facebook wants 20 or more people in an audience for privacy reasons. And what can happen is that you might have you know 15 people at any stage of a campaign and they're not actually able to even trigger the, the Facebook audience live. So I know on the audience syncing side, 
um, that's a, a downfall of their service. Um, I do believe that they do have the a similar service on the lead ad side of collecting leads and pushing them into Infusionsoft. Cool. And obviously the smart leads data, you know, that is is an offering that no one in the marketplace does have. Right. Now Fred is asking, is the seven day fast boot camp an hour a day, all day, or what? Yeah, it's about forty five minutes to an hour a day. And obviously you could, you know, if you want to blow through it all in one day and, you know, seven hours of, of uh, drinking through a fire hose, you can certainly do that. I'm not, you know, holding it out each day. Sure. Okay, Mary asks, uh, what do you suggest for small healthcare businesses? Not sure we can share our list to generate a lookalike audience with Facebook due to HIPAA regulations. It's a good question. Um, you know, I think that you'd have to look at that in more detail because it, it is just – you have to, to find out if, um, because I know that Facebook is dealing with this or has dealt with this, and so I think, I believe they've dealt with it, and I, I believe that their policies would allow for you to do that. Um, they are just looking at the email address to find an ID, so I, I think that Facebook has dealt with that, and even if you couldn't do that, then you could use interest-based targeting, um, depending on the you know, if you can give me a, a follow-up response here from this, I mean, tell me who it is that your business is targeting, and then I could help you use interest-based targeting um, to find those folks, even if you couldn't use the, the audience syncing. But I would say that uh, Facebook has already dealt with that topic from a privacy perspective, and it's something that likely is available to you as a healthcare provider. Yeah, uh, Justin, I'm pretty sure this has been taken care of. I, I believe this is one of the reasons why the policy changed at Facebook with regards to the verbiage you can use around um, conditions, uh, medical mm -hmm. conditions uh, in your ads, right? So you used to be able to say, hey, are you dealing with uh, you know, prostate problems, <laughs> you know, whatever? Uh, but now yeah. you can't say you, right? You, you, you can only say things like, uh, hey, you learning about, uh, are you interested in learning about prostate health, you know? Um, so you yeah. can't you can't essentially accuse someone of having a condition, um, and that is that essentially removes the person that you're advertising to from the condition, uh, and and therefore uh, you know HIPAA is taken care of because you're not giving any contact information or any personal information to Facebook. You're just matching them up with their Facebook profile, which they've created on their own. They've given their own information to Facebook, right. and then you're advertising to them based on their interests. Uh, versus their condition or their supposed condition, which you used to be able to and now you can't do. Yeah, a good example of that is what I cover with back pain. I can't say arthritis suffers. That's right. a condition. Yep. I can I can just call out the symptom. Exactly. Um, all right, Mark says, forgive my ignorance, but I've never heard of SyncSumo before this webinar. This looks incredible. How much does the service cost? Do you want to go over costs real quick? Yeah, we have plans that start. It's, every plan has a 14-day trial. The the smallest plan starts at 30 bucks, and we do have enterprise plans that go up to 250 dollars a month. And you know, so to from one uh, one why is one bigger than the other? Part of it is feature set as well as list size. So if you have you know 10,000 people on your list or fewer, then you know the smaller plan will work for you. If you have a million contacts or more. Um, you're going to be in that enterprise $250 a month type range. And the real value comes from being able to connect with folks that are already in your database um, that you already have a relationship with and targeting them on Facebook as well as just generating those leads as I showed you step-by-step -step here with lead ads. Great. And Mark, if you haven't heard of SyncSumo, uh, it, it's actually been around for, what, about a year, Justin, a little over yeah. a year? Yeah. And um, I think you guys were the first in the marketplace to connect Infusionsoft uh, to to Facebook in this way, um, so yep. definitely the leader in the space. All right, let's see here. What else do we have? Um, Todd, in your example ad, what happens when the viewer clicks the download button? Do they go to a landing page to get their email address? So this is a question that was entered back when you were presenting on that. Yeah. So what happens with the lead ad is when they click download, you know, and, and again that button could be different based on the offer you have. It could be learn more. Or, sign up or different uh, buttons that Facebook gives you as you're setting up your ad, it simply pops up the form pre-filled for them so they can submit their name and email or any other fields that you ask for. So it's, it's, it's simply um, once, once the, um, the button click download, then they click submit, then immediately SyncSumo is taking that lead in real time and pushing it into your Infusionsoft campaign so you can fire off the email with the, the lead magnet.
in this in the scenario that I gave you. And certainly if you have a link directly to the lead magnet, you could put that in the third step or the sort of thank you, everything's good to go, that Facebook allows you to add a link to the bottom. You can put that there too. Great. Uh, another question from Jamie says, uh, as B2B marketing, many people in business have a business email but use their personal email to set up their Facebook account, but their cell is the same. Can you create a SyncSumo campaign that syncs with cell numbers, not emails? Yeah, so uh, good question. So what happens when we sync with anybody that's in, in Infusionsoft, we actually look at every name, uh, every email and phone number field when we do that sync. So it's all happening in the same uh, for, for every contact. There's no reason to separate it because we're going to take both the emails that we find in the various email address boxes in Infusionsoft as well as the different phone numbers that might be in that same contact and we're going to try and match it to Facebook and that's why our match rates are very good. Great. And here's just a comment from Greg. Uh, you mentioned Canva and he says uh, another good free tool for photo editing is pixlar.com. Less temporary yeah. but extremely flexible. Mm -hmm. The express version. All right. And I saved this one for last. It's a really long question from Stuart. Um, <laughs> he says, I have a client who does golf networking. They have groups and pages on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and LinkedIn. They have an Infusionsoft uh -huh. landing page form on their website so people can get a free game of golf if they're a business yeah. owner, director of a business, or a partner in a business. Once they register for a free game of golf, they want to automatically connect the prospect to the selected golf groups, members, over social media so the group's members can engage with the prospect on social media prior to the event. Then, after booking the event, the prospect gets reminders about the event to check if they are definitely coming. Uh, currently, they can click a link in the email or text back a keyword, but Facebook has events where you can go to event on Facebook and click on going, not going, or maybe. Mm -hmm. If that can trigger sequences and campaign building, that would be awesome. Uh, once attended, free event prospect <laughs> either to decide it isn't for them. So I guess that's that's the root of the question, right? If they if they click attend, I want to attend, or I'm not going, or whatever, on the Facebook event, then could that trigger in Infusionsoft? Well, the biggest thing with, um, you know, we can trigger things that happen on a landing page. So there's two answers to the to the question. One is certainly if you um, if somebody gets a tag in Infusionsoft that can trigger that list of people that are they're in that segment of your funnel to be synced with an advertisement campaign that you're running. And that can also happen if they visit a page using the web the Facebook pixel, which we didn't talk about today, which is, you know, really, hey, they landed on a specific page which tells you that they took the action you asked for, which means I can trigger the fact that they landed on that page or they didn't yet, I can be showing an ad in Facebook because of that behavior. So whether they opted into something and they're already in your database and they get a tag that triggers them to go into a Facebook custom audience which triggers the ad or they could even visit a page on your website which triggers the pixel to record whether they visited that page or not can trigger follow-up ads in Facebook um, if, if that was the answer, the question that I understood. Yeah, I think they're looking more for some integration features that, that don't exist, which is like, hey, if I set up an event on Facebook mm -hmm. and someone clicks that they're going to that event in Facebook, I want it to trigger an Infusionsoft, you know, follow-up sequence or whatever. Um, so I, I don't think that part of it's going to work, Stuart. Like you said, in the email follow-up, they can do that. You know, they click the email and say, yes, I'm attending. So, um, yeah. And then that I'll could... tell you why. I'll tell you why that won't work is okay. because Facebook won't tell us um, who who clicked the event button because of privacy. Right. right. That's yeah. why. Yeah. Cool. Uh, another question here, how small can a custom audience be? Good question. So um, 20 people, 20, 20, uh, 20 user IDs. So again, for privacy reasons, they won't, even if you have 15 people or whatever, they won't make that custom audience live. So generally you're going to need 30 emails um, about 30 email addresses, maybe 35 email addresses to get 20 of them to convert to a Facebook user ID. But you need 20 so that Facebook will make that custom audience live for you. Cool. Bruno's asking if you talk about this Facebook pixel stuff in the Fast Boost Bootcamp. 
Yeah, absolutely. It's I mean it's a critical part of Facebook advertising in general. So the boot camp covers everything that you need to be successful with the platform and certainly the pixels are part of that. Cool. Great. Well that is the last question, unless there's any others that uh pop up in the next few seconds. Uh but Justin, again, thank you so much. Really appreciate your expertise uh today yeah, in this Facebook stuff. I know it's uh like I said, I, I really just think it's becoming the foundation of, of online advertising. Uh, it's the place to start uh, is what I tell our clients is you want to start there and then branch out to other places. And it's yeah. great to have someone like you who, who's done it uh, extensively, who's got the right tools, right experience, and the right training. Um, one final question before we wrap up here from Bruno again. What's not covered in the Fast Boot Camp? I mean, we even cover scaling. So once you get this stuff working, we help you understand how you set up your cost per lead and cost per acquisition. So we, we cover stuff extensively. I think that there's some more advanced stuff. Um, there's more detail on video ads that we don't cover in detail. We, I do cover it, and I show you how to create video ads. But um, I think that there are many other uh, folks out there, John Loomer, Keith Krantz, that have other training that's more high level that maybe after you finish boot camp would be appropriate. And I didn't want to recreate the wheel with more advanced stuff. I wanted to keep things simple so that uh, folks could consume it and they can get you know, really what they need to be successful in Facebook to set that foundation. And from there, I would look to more advanced training from guys like uh, John Loomer and Keith Krantz. Excellent. Well, thanks again, Justin. Really appreciate it. Um, all of you that are Got still it. on, I definitely encourage you to go to syncsumo.com slash early dash bird. Uh, sign up for the fast boot camp uh, before the price goes up to full price of $500. Um, you'll get great training and uh, you'll get a much better understanding of how uh, this great platform can work for you as well as how um, SyncSumo uh, would be a great tool to integrate Infusionsoft and your Facebook advertising at the same time. So, uh, thanks again, Justin. Really appreciate it. it. Um, and I'll send Thank an email know. following up uh, with a link as well as the promo code yeah, um, and any other information that you think we need to send people, Justin. All right? Yeah. Thanks so much, Tyler. All right. Thanks, Take guys. Care, guys. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.